Greetings from Caddo Lake. Uh, I love coming out to Caddo to do fall paddles. It's, it's so pretty and serene. So we're taking you on a trip today uh, on Caddo Lake in deep East Texas. And today I'm paddling the Pacayac. So it goes together in like three minutes, six different pieces. Uh, I'll talk about it along the way, but uh, here we go. So yeah, hey, uh, thanks again and welcome to another episode out at Caddo Lake. Uh, like I said, I love to get out here in the fall. Um, this new pack of yak I have, it is, uh, it's really interesting. It, uh, it stacks, you know, like the little Russian dolls that stack on top of each other to make a big doll? Well, that's what this does. It's uh, six different pieces of kayak that stack together to make a 14 foot two touring kayak. It's slick as heck. It goes together in, um, in you know, basically two to three minutes. Uh, probably three to four minutes your first time and two minutes after you're a seasoned installer. And uh, just a phenomenal kayak. It's, uh, it's, it's a 14 foot two touring kayak and you sacrifice nothing. But uh, I'll be talking about it on this video here. This is more of an adventure video. I'm just taking you out on a fall day and on Caddo Lake, but uh, uh, I'll be doing a full review on the pack of yak as well. So thanks a lot for coming along with me on this, uh, this episode, and uh, we'll show you some beautiful, beautiful East Texas fall paddling. All this up here to the right, this is what they call, I think they call it giant salvania weed, and uh, it is just overtaking this lake. It, dro it grows at a prolific rate. And uh, when you leave this lake, you want to make sure you drain your boats and uh, not contaminate other lakes with this. It's been a real problem, and uh, it grows like exponentially, like acres in a day. Uh, I, I may be exaggerating, but something like that. But uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's interesting to paddle in and around, but it, it just chokes off. I think it hurts the... Uh, the fish it probably chokes off the oxygen I, I I'm not sure of all the specifics but I know it's not good but uh, yeah you got a lot of the giant Sylvania here in, in Caddo Lake so the one thing with Caddo Lake is the signs there there are markers and uh, the markers all throughout this lake there's five paddling trails here and they're all marked with markers and then there's other trails that you can go on they're not really specific trails but they're paths and if you follow we're going on mm now and this is going to take us to another bigger body of water but uh, we got uh, three other friends that are here with us paddling so it'd be a total group of five and then i i got ben here behind me so uh um yeah we're just taking off now down this little this little chute here to get to this other big giant area of the lake to paddle in. It's just all about exploring when you get out here. Uh, it's a paddling mecca. There's kayakers everywhere. Uh, duck hunters and fishermen too this time of year. But uh, it's just a paddling mecca. It's just gorgeous. And I love to get out here in the fall and uh, you know experience the, the very slight change of colors that we have here in Texas. Um, but all the cedars, they turn brown, and, uh, you know, other small foliage starts to change its color as well. We're out here camping on this episode. Uh, we're staying at the, uh, not kayak camping out of the kayaks, but camping and kayaking. <laughs> More glamping. <laughs> but uh, 
A uh, little cold this morning, it was 37. I think right now it's probably about 45, heading up to a high of about 53 today. But still, sunny day, perfect day to get out on the, on the, on the weather, I mean on the water. Uh, you know, just, just, just dress accordingly. And uh, uh, you know, it's some of my favorite times to get out are during the fall and winter months, but down here in Texas we can do that. Uh, it does get very cold here at times, but it doesn't stay cold forever. But uh, here we're breaking out into this other area. Yeah, my buddy Ben up here, he's paddling his uh, Eddy Line Equinox, and it's a 14-foot uh, touring kayak as well. And uh, really, that, that's how this pack of yak performs. It performs just like a, uh, a solid, hard-shell, one-piece kayak, but it's just six pieces. So, by now a lot of you have noticed my infatuation with uh, um, kayaks that break down. And I, I had started out years ago with the uh, that origami style folding kayaks. And uh, that just really wasn't the one for me, so I went back to hard shell. Then about a year ago, uh, inflatable, and I actually absolutely love inflatable uh, kayaks with what they can do, but I wanted also a hard shell touring kayak to have in my fleet because I really like paddling a hard shell sit inside touring kayak and uh, <clears throat> you know this with the six pieces it's only three and a half feet high when it's stacked together and my whole I believe my whole motivation and philosophy in paddling is going to be it has to be inflatable foldable stackable and packable one of one or two or three of those that's what it needs to be so that's uh you know, if you want to learn more, there's going to be an, a, a review video on this product. But, uh, you know, the link for this product is in the description box uh, on my video as well. So I was telling you before about the line, the markers. Up here's the uh, next paddling trail we're going to do. This is uh, NN. And we're going to follow this one. We're punching through this Salvinia here. Uh, this was not here last time I came. But it's kind of cool though. This pack of yak just slices right through it. Just build up some momentum. Here we got the open water coming up.
water is actually clearer than I've ever seen it here. And I know, I know that happens more in the colder months because your, your algae and your plankton kind of reduce and it clears it up, but it's, I'd say there's a good three, four feet visibility down there. I covered this on a previous video, but this is a government ditch that we're gonna go through now. And it's just a real narrow uh, cut that goes, basically back in like the 1930s, I think it was, the government dug this long ditch to get the cotton down to the, uh, um, well, ultimately down to New Orleans. So, uh, yeah, we'll paddle through it a little bit. Government in the uh, 1930s, Looks like it's going to be about a 10 mile day for us and uh, um, we got the wind to our back now. Now how often does that happen? Your last leg and uh, the wind is pushing you. Beautiful. But hey, I just wanted to say, I say it in all my videos, don't forget to get out in God's great outdoors that we have. And thank you for coming with me on, the, on this adventure. As always, Caddo Lake is a big kayak cliff thumbs up. And the Pacayak, which you're gonna see more of in adventure videos and also a review, the Pacayak is a big kayak cliff thumbs up. I just love how it stacks together, stores away, uh, easy to transport, but performs perfectly like a touring kayak. So if you wanna learn more about it, check it out. Um, at the link in my description box. And if you want to visit Backcountry, they're your premier outdoor online outfitter. You can get anything from them. They're great. Check them out. Link is in the description box as well. Anyway, thanks for coming. Hope to see you out on the water one day. Um, you know, get out there, adventure, love the outdoors, hike, bike, camp, kayak, whatever it is, and uh, just get out there. Kayak Cliff out. God bless.